What's going on guys? It's Troy Dan here. Today on NBA 2K17, we're going to look at some of the biggest steals of the NBA. We're talking draft steals, bitch. We lie, we cheat, we steal. Now there have been some incredible draft steals over the history of the NBA. Players like Kobe Bryant, drafted 13 overall in 1996. Ben Wallace, who went completely undrafted in that same year. You could even say Michael Jordan, the greatest man to ever play the sport, being drafted at number three is one of the biggest NBA draft steals of all time. But for this video, we won't be looking at those guys. We're going to be looking at today's guys, as we will look at the greatest NBA draft steals that are still active in the league today. Let me show you my team. Let's see what you got. Up first in the 13th spot, this man was drafted in 2008 in the second round as the 35th pick. From the Clippers, the 6 foot 11 rebounding machine that couldn't hit a free throw to save his own life. It's DeAndre Jordan. That's right, he can't shoot for shit. But he doesn't need to. He is the man that catches the lobs and defends quite well. He actually just earned his first All-Star appearance this year. Unfortunately, though, the Clippers are plagued with injuries, and he probably should have just went to Dallas anyway. God f***ing damn it! Coming in at number 12, this man was chosen as the number 9 overall pick in the 1998 draft by the Milwaukee Bucks. And apparently they did not believe in him as they traded him on the same day for Robert Tractor Taylor? Really, nigga? I'm using 79 overall German Jesus. It's Dirk Nowinski. That's right. What an awful trade. In fact, that might go down as one of the worst trades of all time. Also one of the worst goddamn drafts of all time, too, as the number one overall draft was Michael Olawakati? I can't even say that motherfucker's name. I've never even heard of him before this. Anyway, I don't need to say the accolades of Dirk Nowinski. This man, you already know, one of the greatest, if not greatest power forward of all time. Hey, hey, hey! In our 11th spot, this man was chosen as the 33rd overall pick in the 2010 NBA Draft by the Sacramento Kings. We're using the 89 overall center, Hassan Whiteside, and he should have been a goddamn Laker. Now, for Hassan, it took him a few years to get it going. In fact, he only played 19 games for the Kings over a two-year period, where he only averaged two points per game. He got waived, he went to the D-League, he went to China, he got waived again, he got injured, he came back to the Heat last year. Guess what he did? Rebounding champion. Pretty good indeed. I wish he was a Laker though. Hassan Whiteside, you're proving the doubters wrong. Keep up the good shit. Coming in at number 10, this power forward was drafted 47th overall in the 2006 NBA draft class by the Utah Jazz. 79 overall from the Hawks, Paul Millsap. This guy is getting better each and every year. In fact, he's coming off one of his best years. He was drafted to the Hawks in 2013. Since then, four straight NBA All-Star appearances. Not too shabby. In fact, I hear he's a free agent. The Lakers are looking. Hmm. Coming in at number nine, this man was also drafted in 2006, chosen 21st overall by the Phoenix Suns who traded him shortly after to the Boston Celtics. We're using 81 overall, now on the Bulls, Raja Rondo. This guy, at one time, was the best point guard in the league. He was, he scared me. He is a three-time NBA assist leader, 2010 steal leader, four-time NBA All-Star, and yeah, he won an NBA championship. Not too happy about that one. Rondo has had some ups and downs in his career. He was really turning it up in the playoffs this year until... He suffered an injury and the Bulls got eliminated. Rondo, you still got some minutes left in your career. Do your thing. In the number eight spot, this is the youngest player you'll see here today. From the 2013 draft class, this man was chosen 15th overall by the Milwaukee Bucks. We got 89 overall still on the Bucks. Yiannis. Ah, fucking I give up. I can't say that name. He is coming off his best season by a long shot. In fact, his rookie year, eh, he averaged 6.8 points per game. 
Meh. Now he's averaging 22.9. He's averaging 8.7 rebounds and a lot of assists. 5.4 a game. That's pretty good. He just got his first NBA All-Star nod as well. And quite frankly, this guy could go down as one of the greatest draft steals of all time. Sky is the limit for the Greek freak. Yiannis Antetokounmpo. Eh. You never give up. Coming in at number seven, this man was drafted in 2007 in the 48th overall spot by the Los Angeles Lakers. And then he was traded. It was a good deal. 89 overall Memphis Grizzlies, Mark Gasol. It was a great deal. You know what? Mark, great player. Definitely one of the greatest draft steals of all time. But we got Paul Gasol, which was an amazing player at the time, and we got rid of Kwame Brown in what most people say one of the most lopsided trades of all time. But don't sleep on Mark, though. He is a three-time NBA All-Star, and he might not be as good as his brother. That's just my opinion. That's my opinion. <laughs> Coming in at number six, this man could go down as one of the greatest draft steals of all time. In 2011, he was chosen in the second round as the 60th overall pick. That's right, he almost didn't even get drafted from the Boston Celtics point guard, Isaiah Thomas. And I know there's a better card than him, but this is all I got right now, so deal with it. I think they slept on Thomas because, well, he's only five foot nine. But don't let that get in your way of how good this guy is. In fact, he's coming off an amazing and almost MVP caliber season, averaging 28.9 a game. Oh yeah, and he's doing pretty good in the playoffs right now. He just scored 53 points the other night. 53 points! And he also lost a tooth. That's fucking savage. Some people comparing him to Allen Iverson? I feel that's fair. Isaiah Thomas? Good shit. <laughs> in the fifth spot, we have a small forward that was chosen 15th overall in the 2011 NBA Draft by the Indiana Pacers. And then they traded him for George Hill. Bet you they're not happy about that. 89 overall, now on the Spurs, Super Kawhi Leonard. I don't know why I do that. Six foot seven, this man is a defensive machine. He's won the Defensive Player of the Year award, not once, but twice. Could win the third time, I don't even know. We don't even know yet. He's an NBA champion, he's a finals MVP. He could be a season MVP anytime. And I bet you the Pacers are kicking themselves in the ass. Go get him, Leonard. <laughs> Coming in at number four, we have another man that was drafted in 2011. He was chosen 30th overall by the Chicago Bulls. 93 overall shooting guard, Asparagus, Jimmy Butler. That's right. In 2015, Jimmy was the most improved player, and this year, he averaged 23.9 points per game. His best year indeed. Jimmy is a three-time NBA All-Star, and some say he might not be on the Bulls too much longer. Well, hey, Jimmy, if you're going to get traded, you may as well come to the Lakers. I am desperate. Coming in at number three, the Golden State Warriors chose this man as the 35th overall pick in the 2012 draft. Power forward, 89 overall, donkey, Draymond Green. Mr. Green has done some amazing things indeed. He is an NBA champion, a two-time NBA All-Star. I didn't even know this. He led the league in steals this year. I don't even know. Some people compare this man to Charles Barkley. I don't think he likes that comparison, but I think he should. Barkley, one of the greatest power forwards of all time. Mr. Green, you're one of the best in the league. Coming in the second spot, this point guard was drafted in 2001 as the 28th overall pick by the San Antonio Spurs. We're using 83 overall. He's French. Tony Parker. Not many players are more accomplished than this individual. In fact, he's a four-time NBA champion, a finals MVP, a six-time NBA All-Star, and he almost didn't get drafted until the second round. That's a pretty impressive resume. Almost as impressive as the man in our number one spot. Because our number one active NBA draft steal was also chosen by the San Antonio Spurs in 1999 
as the 57th overall pick. We have a shooting guard. We got an 80 overall, Manu Ginobili. It was close between him and Tony. In fact, he's also won four NBA championships. They're teammates, good buddies. Manu is a sixth man of the year, now one of the oldest players in the league, and his hair, it's disappeared by now. But Manu will go down, as Tony will, as one of the greatest draft steals of all time and two of the greatest international players of all time. And two of the greatest teammates, too. You know what? The Spurs, great franchise. Not as good as the Lakers, but you're pretty good. So, of course, we gotta play someone. This man is a Twitch subscriber. His name is Mamba Blade. I don't know if I played him before. His name sounds awfully familiar, but we're gonna find out. Oh, fuck me. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Um, I'm not even gonna uh, acknowledge his team. Yeah, there was two pink diamonds there. Okay, as you see, I moved some of my players around. This guy, holy fucking shit. This might go down as the best team I've ever played against. Oh, fuck. And here we go. I am the home team. I guess it's my home court. In my St. Patrick's Day uniforms. I keep forgetting to change it. This is going to be a tough test. It really is. So we're going to have to play great. No mistakes. And... We're going to start with a foul. Now, as you notice, I do have Jimmy Butler playing point guard. I don't know. I just wanted to get him out there. I, mean, I don't trust that little Isaiah. I'm sorry. I know he's got a diamond card, but I don't have it. We got the Greek freak here looking for the pick. Nice. Nice. What? What in the god fuck was that? Well, you know what? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy, Jimmy, that's almost a backcourt. Was that not a backcourt? I think the game's lying. In fact, I think that was bullshit. But we got a steal. Good stuff. Throw it up. Marcus Saul. Right there to Jimmy Butler. Jimmy B. Foul. Fa Rebound. Foul. Yeah. Let's get a nice so. Jimmy wants a nice so. Come on. Ooh. He's big. He's beautiful. He's bad. Come on. Ooh. He looks like a tiki mask. Pass. Pass. Okay. Kawhi Leonard. Super Kawhi. Super Kawhi. Passing it right there. Faking. That's donkey. That's a donkey. Okay. Pass it over there. Yiannis. Oh. He's hesitating. He's hesitating. Go for the lane! Oh! Kid, are you a complete retard? Super Kawhi, slow down. This one can shoot threes, so don't sleep on him. Hopefully he sleeps on him. I want to see him sleep on me. Here we go. Kawhi Leonard, wide open! Let's go. Tony Packer. Tony Packer. Oh, Kawhi Leonard in the corner. Oh, Green oh, Bean, baby. Green We're going to have some trouble with that point. Oh, get blocked, though. No trouble with that. No trouble at all. Let's go. Ginobili. Ginobili. Hair fucked up like Ginobili. Hair fucked up. Like a green bean! Come on, get that shit out of there! Get that shit out of there, because I chose not to have that shit. Hell nah, hell nah. Get that out of there again! Whiteside Block City! Tony Parker with the steal! He's a Thank French stealer! A French tickler! Right there to Gasol! Pass to Tony! Tony oh, this is going to be crazy! Foul, foul! Yes, and what? Tony Parker is heating up out here. And we got a block. An international block. They work together. Jimmy Butler. Let's go. You're not doing so good for me. You're not doing so good. Let's slow down. Faking it. Should have shot it. Would have been ballsy. Ooh. Oh, the Greek freak. Greek yogurt freak. Passing it. Who is that? That's Donkey Green. That's Draymond Don Donkey Green. Right there. Oh, I thought he was cutting. He's not cutting. Right there. The Greek freak, 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 freak. Spin. Spin. Pass it. I'm panicking. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. Oh, fuck. Shot dog fight. Oh, my God. That was... That was terrible! They are going to run the smart play. The smart play is to give it to white side of the top of the key. Who said this is a smart play? You're stoned! Isaiah! What the fuck? 2K, man! That was a stupid play. I didn't know there was a stupid play button, but I just ran it. Get the fuck out, though! Let's go! Let's go! Hassan waits up with a ton of blocks. Super Kawhi Leonard! Super Kawhi! Oh, be careful, be careful. There's not much time. There's not much time. We're crazy! At the buzzer! Foul! Ah, fuck. Okay. Well, we're still up by two. We just got to stay focused. Isaiah, no way. If that goes in, Jesus Christ is an asshole. Come on. Isaiah Thomas moving it up to Leonard. Let. Fuck! Come on. Someone get to him. Get to him. No, no. Please, no. Yes, he missed. I didn't think he was going to miss. He hasn't missed many times. Here we go. Tony Parker representing France out here. And the Spurs. Ooh, Tony. Ooh, Tony. Do it to him, Tony. Do it, Tony! Tony, you fucking asshole. Tony Parker with six assists already. He's getting things done. Ginobili! Team! What? What the fuck was that? I just got game fucked. What? And I just... That was also very weird as well. Come on. That, that is shit. 
Come on, game. You're fucking me in the ass. And I don't want anal tonight. Or ever. I don't like anal. In fact, I, I mean, I don't mind giving it. Okay, that's another story. Tony Parker, don't shoot that. You're cold from everywhere. But try it in the corner. Contested. Yeah, that's a smart decision. Because we're idiots. And we've now lost the lead. But we're just going to have to play through it. Play strong. Mark is so. We can get it back. Right there to Donkey. Donkey. Don that's a foul. Bob Pettit, you greasy fuck. Go, go, go. Last chance. Last chance. Isaiah! Oh, shit! Ice in his veins. We're only down by one. Let's get the pick. Let's get the pick. Back to Mill. Faking it with Mill. Mill. Oh, oh, okay. That was stupid. To Jimmy. Jimmy. Oh, oh, Jimmy. Butler. Butler, Jimmy. Jimmy. We're up. Oh, my God. We're getting killed at point guard because Isaiah can't stop anything. It's really atrocious to see. Right there. Come on. Oh, 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 the moves in the corner. Is that Super Kawhi and Green Bean? He is killing us at point guard. So hopefully Tony here will change the day. Tony, Tony looking to get around. Tony in the corner. That's a fake. That's a, that's a pass. We got the, oh, Tony. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, cock. No way. Get, come on, game. Come on. Are you, game is just, game doesn't like me. Game, are you, game, I'm going to fuck your fam. That's what I thought. That, I, I got to threaten it sometimes. You got to threaten the game. That's how you get shit done. Tony in the corner. Oh. Fuck you! Marcus Saul on Marcus Saul. Oh my gosh! The ball went through the Greek man. It literally went through him. Why game? Why? Yannis, move it up the court. Oh, oh, put some moves on him. Right there to Mark. No! No game! No! Jimmy, Jimmy Butler. He ain't giving up. He should, but he ain't. The fuck was that? Why would the game do that? Game, you're high on mescaline. And with six seconds left, we pretty much gave up here in the fourth. We led almost the entire game, but he's got too many good cards. We just couldn't compete. Ugh. We had some troubles on offense. The problem was defense, but Jimmy Butler, for being a diamond, shooting five for 14, that's unacceptable. You can't come to Lakers now. Super Kawhi Leonard, pretty good. Four for six, 11 points, happy. Greek Freak, doing real good. Five for eight, 10 points. Ginobili, you were here. Whiteside, you were excellent. Tony Parker, you fucking suck. We gave up in the fourth, but we were pretty dominant in the first half. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like that now. We shot 49% to his 63% and 31% from three to his 60. He killed us on defensive rebounds, 21 to just 14. And we did well on offensive boards somehow, 11 to five. We had 13 turnovers to his 12. We had seven steals to his 11. And this guy had some really serious cards. We almost pulled it off. In fact, we were up by 10 at one point, but you can't fucking stop some of those goddamn pink diamonds and diamonds when you don't have cards to do it. So I understand we were up against more than we could take on. Folks, thank you for watching. And as always, keep your stick on the ice.